I was scared to death. That, that, uh, the whistling of the rockets and that poop of the mortars and stuff, or that we were getting hit a lot more, a lot more rocket attacks, a lot more artillery attacks. You had young children that at 20 weeks before Quezon were sitting at home at the breakfast table with their mom and dad. Thrust into a situation like Quezon that, you know, has now become a historical uh, battle at such a young age and how they performed, I mean, it was just unbelievable. And we were scared. The whole world exploded on us. They opened up on us in three sides and everybody just started dropping. I would dive from one bomb hole to another, uh, work behind anything I could find that was any kind of cover. Oh man, fixed bayonets. At this time I'm saying, this is the real deal, man. And bullets started coming, being walked toward the two of us. And the last one stopped right at the fella, I don't know who it was. So I just took aim and waited, and as he did it, I played the game again, where I just squeezed and shot and hit him dead right in that forehead. I took an AK-47 round through the center of my helmet, right about here. Went through the steel and most of the way through the plastic liner. If you're above ground, I just, I just remember him buzzing, you know, buzzing you, and it's like, and you just realize that was a bullet. We are Marines, we are brothers. I, I know for years and years and years, still even to this day, when I wake up in the morning, before I get my eyes open and I get my first cup of coffee, when my feet hit that ground, when I come out of that bed, I'm in that trench. And they bodies up to my kneecaps every morning. Every morning. <laughs> <laughs>